I'm Alex. I work as a brand director, senior brand director at G42. Initiated this piece of communication called The Choice for the partnership between G42 and MF1. And of course, our star, Lewis Hamilton. Mike, over to you. So I'm Mike Christie, I'm a director and uh, I wrote the original script. Our sport is changing and so is the world around us. And now there's a choice to be made, a choice between different futures. Will we choose technology that takes more than it gives, with data that discriminates and ignores diversity? We had a monologue and we had this idea about this gigantic set that would be a place where we could visualize this, this, these images from the kind of AI brain, if you like. It was really about supporting kind of that monologue. To create the AI images, we found you, Sam. <laughs> AI Sam. What struck me from the off about your work was it, it had a surrealist nature and an imaginative direction. You know, we've got this amazing tool, so let's see what it can do. I like pushing it. These are all custom images that I made for this deck. It was about finding the right voice for AI and, and, and the aesthetics. What will it look like? When we saw the ballet dancer, we said, this is it. That's the style, that's the aesthetics, that's the color palette, that's the level of creativity we want to allow AI, because it was so beautiful. When we saw that animated, it was a ballet, it was AI dancing. We built this amazing circular screen, very iconic, very, very much like maybe the monolith from 2001. It's the, the counterpart of Lewis. With AI, machine evolution is accelerating. Our sport is changing. And somehow AI responds with these images on this circular screen. So I wanted as much as possible to have everything in camera. Lewis is looking at the screen in real time, seeing what is happening there. And that creates a change in, in the performance. The, the images are so strikingly different. You know, there was planets and ballet dancers and fruit. You know, it, it, it wasn't obvious how we could find a single voice. There is one I really like, which is the flowers that keep blooming in a cycle. So tell us about that particular sequence. Here are a few of the keyframes. We start from like a more depleted and a dead flower. And then we go through becoming slightly more alive to then finally a fully bloomed flower. And then plug these into the AI. And it will basically run through all these connections uh, in order. It will load the images up. It will load a thing down here called Control Net, which allows me to control where the AI looks and how it feels to drive the animation. So I give it a black and white animation of um, circles expanding. I plug in these images and then I, I kind of say, you know, figure out what goes in between. So we'll start with a more dead version and then it will bloom out into a full flower. So none of this is prompts? None of this is prompts. The prompting happened more at the start when creating the key images. But something like this, there's actually no, no prompts, which I think surprises people. So you start small and then you refine as the image or the video gets larger. So having those AI generated images, uh, adding a touch of unpredictability, super exciting. That's the dance that you have to do with AI is, it's really easy to make a beautiful image, but if you're working with like clients or you want something super specific, it's getting that like, you want to put your control on it and then it wants to do its own creativity. So it's, it's like working with someone like a super creative, maybe sometimes stubborn uh, person. But it's very true. It's very true. It's a very creative child incredibly expressive and incredibly able to surprise us i i don't think we should ai we should use ai to replicate reality as close as possible that's boring ai is drawing all of its influences from everywhere and uh, it's trained on you know all sorts of art sources and, and people were constantly saying well is it original you know is it is are these artworks actually original artworks and my argument has always been that they are uh, just as much as any other art form, as our human brains have synthesized so much imagery and so much, so many ideas in movies and adverts and, you know, increasing volumes of kind of visual fodder, really, that you can argue that AI might have been trained on uh, an entire world of imagery, but so have we. You have a company like G42, you have a team like MF1, you have an amazing human being and an incredible athlete like Lewis Hamilton. 
what we all share is this desire to push the envelope in a responsible way. How, how can we become better at what we do, the way we interact with each other and become better in the way we solve problems?